Hey everyone, uh, thanks for joining us today for this Tech Talk. Uh, I have my uh, uh, colleague and, and teammate and really good friend Jeff Dodge joining us today. I'm Stanley Quinn, I lead the Insight Digital Innovation Team. Jeff, maybe talk a little bit about yourself and what you do at Insight. Yeah, Stan, this is uh, fun. I'm glad we get to do this together. Uh, I head up the software platforms team on your team. Uh, we have the unique opportunity to build uh, SaaS platforms around the IoT space for Insight itself. Awesome. And then uh, uh, IoT, can you kind of go in a little bit into uh, IoT and some of the business impacts we're seeing with it? Yeah, I mean, IoT is thrown around really liberally, and, and the reality is everything is pretty much turning into an IoT device or Internet of Things device. But it's a fancy way of saying a, a smart um, device that has some sort of compute capability and some sort of network connection. There's lots of different ways to connect those devices, but um, what we do is we we look at how to make all of those devices, those IoT devices or smart devices, how to extract the data from them and make it more than just data, but make it insights, make it something that someone can actually use in a business setting. Perfect. Okay. So a connected device that sits within uh, a business and pulls information about a specific, um, you know, it could be anything, right? Uh, could be uh, cameras, it could be, um, you know, devices that sit within manufacturing, uh, large scale equipment, pulls metrics associated with that, failure rates, um, heat, temperature, pretty much anything. I think you refer to it as telemetry, right? Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. Almost everything gives off some amount of data these days. Uh, and even things like, you know, a, a broiler in a restaurant is giving off some data about its health and its status. And individually, devices giving off a little bit of data about its own status. It's interesting. It's useful. It's helpful. But knowing what's going on sort of in concert, knowing what's going on in, in business context uh, is, incre is much more useful. Okay. And I think that's really kind of the concept behind the connected platform, right? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so the connected platform is really designed. Uh, it certainly has IT stakeholders or technology stakeholders in, in mind and, and contemplated, but it's really about the business operations folks, the people that are running the line of business day to day, providing them with, uh, I'll use the cliche, single pane of glass, but that common user interface so that they know where to find the data in a common and repeatable manner, and also that the right data is presented to them. One of the biggest problems with the explosion of IoT everywhere is that there's so tons of data. So nobody knows what data they should be looking at or who it's who it's supposed to be for. So the connected platform is really around taking a lot of data from a lot of different devices and then smartly weaving that data together, creating insights and information beyond just raw data and routing it to the right stakeholder at the right time. Perfect. And then um, I know you've been really busy. We've all been really busy uh, with just a explosion of um, uh, you know, clients that have been connecting with us around the platform and, and around the specific use case of uh, around COVID and detection and, and prevention. Can you speak a little bit about how we pivoted the, the platform to support that specific and, and very important use case um, and, and maybe a little bit about what we're doing there? Yeah, you know, it's 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 quite fortunate that the platform was ready in the way that it was at the time that it was. It's it's sort of unfortunate that um, this amazing use case for utilizing the technology is such a difficult time for the world, um, as evidenced by you and I sitting in our homes right now instead of in our offices. Uh, but we've been working for years to deploy these these IoT solutions, these smart business data driven solutions in different industries from health and life sciences to retail to restaurant and manufacturing. Um, we've been doing this at scale. And then all of a sudden March came and the world changed. And people were no longer able to even access these spaces to deploy these solutions. And frankly, we were all a little nervous. Like, what does this mean for, for business? What are we all, what's the new normal? And then almost on a dime, we realized there was this huge demand for any kind of solution that A, would help people get back to return to work and play, as we like to call it. Um, and then we have another little acronym we like that's ASASAP, or as soon as safely possible. And so all of a sudden our phones are ringing, I mean, quite literally off the hook. My phone is literally, I'm not, I have it on mute right now because everybody's trying to figure out how to do this, but do it in a smart way. So while Insight has a massive uh, you know, velocity business around providing any technology, product, hardware, or software that a client might need, clients were quickly realizing that they didn't just need some sort of thermal camera or an optical model for managing whether or not people were wearing masks. They needed to be able to get that data in a way that they could process and 
action on and and log or not log as they need as they see fit so the connected platform has really become an expression of company policy enforced and and able updatable through a common ui that takes away the the user's discretion if you will or their requirement to rely on their training to figure out what action to take based on the data coming in and gives them again that company's enforced policy through a common ui and workflow telling them decision support wise what to do next based on that data coming in gotcha so all those all those devices you mentioned thermal cameras right um uh, high definition cameras that can uh, allow us to look at using, um, you know, artificial intelligence and machine learning models. Um, you know, are people six feet away? Are people wearing face masks? Right, those types of things. So all that data, um, if it was just the devices, that would be for whoever is sitting in front of that specific uh, device looking at it. But really, what we're able to do our, through our platform is connect all those devices in, and then start to pull. Uh, insights through that data, do alerting of, of specific workflows based on a company's specific policies or um, the back to work policies and regulations within a state. Is that is that kind of how it works, Jeff? Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. You need to be able to manage all of that data coming in, be able to enforce policy. And oftentimes clients are, are just learning about what it means to have opt in requirements around thermal scanning, what it means to have required uh, contact tracing or requiring sort of a, a quick triage, a touch base through a chat bot or through a sort of survey style to understand if, if their employees are in a safe place or at risk uh, and who they've come in contact with. There's all sorts of policy decisions. And, and interestingly, I sit on our return to work uh, committee at Insight and we've got, you know, 10,000 teammates that we're very much concerned with, but also want to help them get back to their the work that's so important. And these considerations are not just technology considerations. They're very much driven by legal and HR and operations. And so in, in concert with them, we've figured out how to set up the connected platform so that these things are configurable. So one week, and literally these things are changing week to week, day to day, you might say, we don't want to do any sort of facial recognition. It's a very hot button issue. And that's that's reasonable, right? Many companies do not want to do that. And I can appreciate why they don't. So you can turn that off. If you do need facial recognition, you can turn it on. If you do want to capture sort of like image evidence of the types of scenarios you just discussed, are people within the workplace coming within six feet of each other? We can either just report on the fact that it happened. We can report on the, the folks that were involved. We could also send out an alert that could be like some sort of visual or auditory signal at the time that it happens to advise them of a better practice to be observing. Or we could alert some sort of person who's in charge of, of you know, making sure that, that, that there's adherence to those policies. But we don't have to do any of that. That is all configurable within the system. A lot of clients just want to have sort of a generic report so they understand the trends within the workplace, not necessarily report on individuals that may be adhering or not as closely adhering to that policy. Well, a ton of power there. And then I know, um, you know, other features, obviously, uh, device health, battery, all those things are all things that our, our systems report on as well. You know, you, you know, Jeff, I, I, you know, what would be great is I know you had mentioned that you're on our uh, back to work uh, uh, team. Can you can you walk through a little bit about what we're doing and how we're leveraging the technology? Yeah, so we are actually deploying this. Uh, it's in our Hanover Park facility right now. It's, a, I think, about a 400,000 square foot labs and shipping facility, warehousing facility in uh, Hanover Park outside of Chicago. And that's really where the, the largest number of Insight teammates is still working every day to provide, you know, mobile enablement technology solutions, whether it be hardware or software, for our clients uh, at, at scale around uh, North America and beyond. So those employees, literally, the, those, I mean, really, really heroic people are still going to work every single day, working, you know, six feet apart, but in close proximity, uh, wearing face masks, uh, you know, wearing gloves where appropriate, following all of those policies. We've already deployed our thermal cameras there to observe uh, a well thought through process for admitting people into the, into the facility taking a thermal read on their current state. And then I can't go into specific details around our, our very, you know, changing and, and monitored policy, but we take the correct actions through the platform to make sure that those people are treated in the, the most uh, least disruptive way and the most safe way possible. Oh, I appreciate that. I know our teammates do as well. And as you said, you know, globally, our, our organization is providing uh, essential IT assets to, um, 
uh, frontline workers and, and essential workers. So, um, as you said, just really appreciate everything that team's doing and glad we can impact them in a positive way. Uh, great thing to talk about. Um, great capability that you and the team have built. Uh, super proud to be part of this organization and, and uh, be your teammate. And thanks for everything. Thanks for being my friend, Stan. It's been a blast. All right. See you, buddy. See Bye. you. Bye.